I strongly believe that at the core of any business is the ability to impact stakeholders positively. So uh, by striving to deliver immense value to our end customers, we indirectly create jobs, opportunities and many other positive returns along the way. Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Ho and I'm the founder and CEO of Graphite Academy. I felt uh, very excited because the panel of judges are movers and shakers of their industry. Uh, I think one of the main driving forces behind becoming an entrepreneur personally was really to build something of significance and value. I think to know that the time you know, here meant something. I think that's what it meant to me. Uh, when I first started out in entrepreneurship, I really wanted to carve out an edge for myself uh, as compared to my peers. Uh, over the years, this has changed tremendously. Now, the greatest motivation for what we do is knowing that our customers are receiving you know, immense value from us and you know, our team is well taken care of. I think that's really one of the biggest motivations now. All right, I was taught by a mentor that you know, there are three important segments in any business. Uh, vision, people, capital. Uh, these three segments have fueled our company's growth till today. And really the speed of growth of a company is really dependent on the speed of growth of the management team. So I think that's something uh, that I believe in. I think one of the tricks in ensuring productivity is knowing uh, when to take breaks because uh, a lot of times people are obsessed with uh, how busy they are. Um, but you know, during the time they're being busy, uh, they don't accomplish much. Uh, for myself personally, I'm looking at productivity um, versus being busy. And when I notice the quality of my work dropping, I tend to take breaks to ensure I'm always in tip-top shape. Yeah, so I take breaks. Uh, the top three mobile apps that uh, make me work, work more effectively is uh, we use Asana, MS Team and G Suite. So that's it. Yeah. I think ask any entrepreneur out there and they will tell you they've experienced a lot of failures. What's important is you know, how you take, the, uh, you take the failure and you know, turn it around. So uh, one of the stories in my company is uh, when I was looking for a co-founder, um, you know, we had a group of people who were initially planned to be part of the uh, core group and we promised them a sum of money for staying with us. Unfortunately, right, during this period, uh, we weren't able to pay out that sum uh, because we had delays in payments. And that loss, you know, so eventually the person left and that loss was, you know, felt uh, quite heavy. Uh, we stuck it out and, you know, we put in the legwork and over time we found a new co-founder who, uh, whose synergy with myself is uh, absolutely amazing. So I think I couldn't have asked for a better business partner in my current company. I think uh, work hard, work fast, work smart, uh, build a solid reputation based on one result, uh, be short-term foolish, long-term greedy. So I think that's the advice I'll give. Uh, I strongly believe that at the core of any business is the ability to impact stakeholders positively. So uh, by striving to deliver immense value to our end customers, we indirectly create jobs, opportunities and many other positive returns along the way. So businesses by nature, uh, in my opinion, are a force for good within the community.